Hey, what's up YouTube? It's I Can Swim here. Today I'm going to be bringing you another great tech tutorial made easy. Today we're going to be talking about file association and what can go wrong with it. Um, I wanted to make this video because sometimes if you have a bad virus or you click the wrong thing, your registry file association can get all out of whack, which means programs aren't going to open correctly, they can open a notepad, so on and so forth. Commands don't run properly, things like that. So there are videos out there that show you what to do if you have an internet connection. So you can go to different websites to download their code that's already been pre-done. But if you don't have uh, an internet connection, or you do but you can't access the internet because of the whole file association thing being out of whack, this is an alternative. You don't need anything from the internet, all you need is your notepad, which shouldn't be a problem if your programs are already opening through there. So what we're going to do is we're going to manually change the registry and update it so that it's going to know what file associations and extensions to associate with what types. So for instance, Google Chrome should be associated with an executable file type because it's a program and it needs to be run to access. So to start off, I'm going to show you what can happen when, when something goes wrong and your association gets mixed up. So Google Chrome, I open it and it just gives lines of code in Notepad. It doesn't go to the internet like it should. So this can be quite frustrating, but there, again, we're going to use the simple fix to change it back to the way it should be so you can get back to doing whatever you were doing. So the first thing we're going to do is hold the start and R key, and we're going to type in Notepad in the Run dialog box. And that's going to bring up Notepad, which is the one thing that seems to be associated with everything. Anyways, so once that's open, you're just going to you're going to copy the code that I'm going to have in the video description and you're just going to paste it right into Notepad. And mine's open in Notepad because I already wrote it. Um, but again, it'll be a lot faster for you. Oh, whoops. So we're going to copy that go back to our blank notepad and we're going to paste it in there. Now this is the most important part of the video so watch carefully. So we're going to click save as and then the first thing we're going to do is change the save save as type to all files. Next we're going to type in fix.reg. Now that reg extension is what allows the computer to save this file to the registry and merge it, that's what it's called. We need this if we're going to update the registry or change it. Um, and then we're going to change the encoding to Unicode, that's just what the registry uses as their encoding scheme, and then just pick wherever you want to save it, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do dis desktop for demonstrative purposes, but it doesn't matter as long as you know where it is. So once you have it saved, you can X out of everything. Um, and then you're going to navigate to that file that you just created. It's going to be fix.reg. It should look like this. Um, if you hover over it, you're going to notice the type is registration entry, and that's what allows you to merge it with the registry and actually update the registry. So all we're going to do now is right click on it and hit merge. Um, your user access control is probably going to prompt you. You just have to hit yes. Um, it's going to say adding information can unintentionally change or delete values all within the registry. That's all fine because we need to change it because it's already messed up. So just hit yes. And then now it won't take long because it's only it's a very, very, very small file. Anyways, at the end, it's going to say the keys and values contained in your directory that you saved the file to have been successfully added to the registry and it's been updated just like that. So now when you click on Google Chrome or whatever program you want to execute, it will take you to the internet now instead of Notepad where it has no use to you. 
So that was a quick video on how to update the registry if and fix file association errors. Um, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, just leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Until next time, we'll see you later.